Things are quite different here. Hi, my name is Lorenza Izzo. Hello, you're Louis, I presume. I was born in Santiago de Chile, but when I was little, I, I lived in, in Atlanta, Georgia for three years. My stepfather at the time did a PhD at Georgia Tech, so the whole family moved there. And I think when I came back to Chile after that trip, I was 16, and that was the first time that bug hit me of like, oh my God, I wanna, I, I think I wanna live in America. And it was super helpful because I spoke English before living in Atlanta, but um, I got rid of my accent and I came back speaking fully like an American. And that was a huge, huge help when I made the decision to move to Los Angeles to become an actress. The house is a very old place. The House of the Clock and Its Walls, it's the first movie I've ever done of that size. It's, it's a huge, massive production with an incredibly talented, incredible cast. I mean, working with Kate Blanchett and Jack Black and Kyle MacLachlan, they're like, I've, I've looked up to them my whole life. So going into a set with that, uh, with, with, with sort of this idea of like, oh my God, I'm gonna get to work with my idols. It's, it's a very special thing. It's a very unique thing. The movie is a very unique movie. I play the role of Lewis's mother. And as a Latina woman, it's, it's incredibly gratifying to me to be able to play a role that doesn't fit into any stereotype where it's not even a thing if she's Latin or not. And I think that's a very, very awesome thing to be a part of and to get to dive in and also I have a very, very strong maternal side that I hadn't been able to explore. And me and Owen, the Owen Vaquero is the kid that plays Lewis, who's the, the star of the movie, was so much fun. We connected so much and truly bonded. So it's, it's it, it kind of, it, it's an all around very magical, awesome experience. So, you've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. It's the magic, and it's and that's what the House of the Clock and Its Walls does too, to make it even more special for me. I guess as a kid who felt like never, um, I I never felt like I quite fit in, and I was always kind of a scared to embrace who I was because I wanted to fit in, I wanted to be popular, and the whole message of a House of the Clock and Its Walls is that Lewis's character. His journey is finding that weirdness, but embracing it and making that weirdness be his superpower. I think I, there's a very beautiful saying that I heard. Um, it's like, only you are you. Nobody else is you and that's your superpower. And I think once you come to a point of like, oh, guess what? This is how weird I am and this is how awesomely weird I am and nobody else can be as weird as I am. It's kind of a cool place to get to. Guys! You know what, I, I, I wonder a lot about that. I once heard a really cool interview that Emily Blunt did on Howard, and it was really interesting to listen. She was like, you think when you're starting out that there's gonna be that one movie that changes everything. And she goes, I had so many projects that I thought had put me in the map, but really they hadn't. And it wasn't until The, Devil's, the Devil Wears Prada where you're like, oh, my whole career is gonna change. But at the same time, you don't know. So I don't count on any project. I think I'm still very much trying to make myself a name in this industry, and it's a tough <laughs> industry at that. So to stay sane, you just I just do the best I can in every single project I get. For me, the work is auditioning and getting people to know me, and, and the gift is the movie and the project. So we'll see where that takes me.